not deny that when the DPRK government imposed the travel ban which prevented from leaving, we were very concerned, especially since we had committed no wrong. But we know that we had to keep our spirit up. I must admit that most of us were concerned that our parents and close family members particularly were worried about uh, for us. <coughs> During the time, we were not particularly harassed by the DPRK authorities. We were given the assurance that, that life could go on as normal. However, uh, the fact that we were prevented from leaving meant that we were not able to fly to Beijing. As you may be aware, we take turn to travel there uh, every month in order to transport money in euros and foodstuff. The fact that we were able to continue to communicate freely via telephone calls and WhatsApps was very comforting. Further, since we were instructed to submit daily reports to Wisma Putra was also a source of comfort since we knew that our welfare was consistently being monitored by our foreign ministry. Other embassies based in Pyongyang were also helpful. Some even offered to bring foodstuff and other supplies when they traveled to Beijing. I must single out the embassies of the ASEAN countries there, Vietnam, Indonesia, Laos, Cambodia, as well as Pakistan, Poland, and Sweden. I would not like to take uh, much of the times. I'm sure that you understand that we would uh, we what we most like to do now is to spend time with our family and loved ones.